Scientists here at the Harvard Smithsonian are working on something that would tie Einstein's brain in knots. It sounds right out of the pages of a sci-fi novel, and it could make a lightsaber blade a reality. At first, it seems like they've managed to break one of Einstein's rules about how light behaves. I'm using this scope to get a glimpse of a normally invisible beam of infrared light traveling through a test tube full of gas. Ron Walsworth is one of the scientists behind this amazing piece of work. We've been able to take a pulse of light, laser light, bring it into a chamber of atoms, hold it for a fraction of a second, and then let it go. Ron talks about it so matter-of-factly, as if stopping light were an everyday occurrence. In fact, it's never been done before. And it would seem to break the rules. Light is the fastest phenomenon in the universe. And because it moves so fast and has no mass, it should be impossible to bottle it up. It can be absorbed, refracted, reflected, or just passed through an object. It can be slowed down. But until now, we thought it was impossible to stop light and hold it in one place. And that's what I need to do to make a laser lightsaber blade. Ron and his team have done something that would never happen naturally. They fire photons of laser light into a container full of gas atoms. A gas atom grabs the light, holds it for an instant, and then passes it to the next atom. Some experiments have stopped the light for more than a second. In theory, making a laser lightsaber where the blade stops at exactly three feet long is possible. There's nothing violating the laws of physics here. We're just exploiting the laws of physics, the laws of quantum mechanics and relativity. Stopping light is a marvelous technology. Imagine a lightsaber made out of pure solid light. However, there are problems. For the sword to really work, I'd have to find some way of containing the gas atoms. I need to stop the laser. A laser lightsaber blade that could cut through anything would have to be around 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That kind of heat would turn the gas into a super hot plasma, what stars and lightning bolts are made of. So the laser wouldn't be stopped at all. I'd end up with a never-ending laser beam with an uncontrollable lightning bolt just above the handle. Even Yoda would have problems wielding that. Whenever the sci-fi fans think, the laser lightsaber is a no-go. But it does give me an idea. If I could tame that super hot plasma, it might make an ideal blade for my lightsaber. 